good welcoming hello warped in we're here it's time it's time to carry on solving the puzzles and figuring out this riddle of what the hell's going on it's another episode of player one versus the computer but you could argue that this episode is actually computer question mark versus the computer who knows that's what we're trying to find out so <clears throat> it is deep it gets deeper as well so we might only be able to one sec do a, sm a short stream tonight unfortunately due to mitigating circumstances in the other quantum realm but we'll go as long as we can <clears throat> excuse me so let's get stuck in just uh pad is pretending that it's not working there's always got to be something as there's just one every time one thing there we go so where were we we got stuck on that puzzle didn't we there was those two there I just lost lost all understanding my brain just died after a certain point But there's always another day. Here we are in the garden of what's probably like Eden. Look at all these graphics. So, coming at this one with fresh eyes. I think, so I spent a while on this one and I couldn't get the answer. Slinky sort of gave me a hint, but it's kind of something that had occurred to me. But I just didn't know how to implement it. So let's try again. We want to get. So basically all of these power through in a round. And then it's not going to make any sense. So I don't know why I'm trying to describe it. Just Where's my connector? Once I get my connector out, I'll feel on more solid ground. Here we go. So essentially, this laser needs to be linked to this to open the door. So you connect it and then place it like that. Look at this, it's magic. It's magic, how this works. Look at, look at what science has done. Now let's just get through into here. There's another connector. And another door with a red jiggity so let's connect that now we open this door now this is all the stuff I did last time so I don't know why I'm doing it again here's another connector so then we can open this door and as you see oh another connector I'm starting to hate the sound of my own voice This time, this time, it was awesome. We want this door to open. We can do that. That's not the problem. See, that, that's, that's trivial. But then we want the blue to connect to that. We've got no more connectors. And this one won't reach. Because if you stand here, by the time you've got that one in view, that one is out of view. And if you get this one in view, then that one is now out of view and you can't connect it. So, what happens if I don't use blue and instead... Now I need to use blue to, keep, to open that, see? Ah. Wait. Okay, I've got an idea. No, because then... See? Ah! I don't even know what I'm saying, but I know what I mean to myself.
Like, if I, I can get the red laser to come through this door to get to there, then I won't need the other ones around the corner. But to do that, I need this blue to be open. And I just haven't got a spare connector. Holy smokes, Batman. So if you were here last stream, you the last half hour, you, you would have just seen me wandering around this puzzle, scratching my head. And I hope that you're happy to be back, because that's what we're going to be doing this stream as well. So welcome. Everyone have a lovely time. And to make things worse, people in the chat know exactly what you're supposed to do. They just look at it once, they just glance at it in passing and they go, oh yeah, there, that's what you do. And there's me, giving everything I've got. You just can't do it. It is one of the harder puzzles, to be fair, so I've been told. Probably people just being nice, you know. Pat, pat. <laughs> can't do it. Oh, don't worry. That one gave me a little bit of trouble as well. Took me about 10 minutes. Okay, it's half of that. But I'm not giving up, so I'm just gonna. This is gonna be the stream, is this puzzle until I solve it. The other thing to note, it's got these raised parts but there's no point to them that I can discern it means I can put one here and it goes over this this wall over to here but there's no point to that because that can just as easily open this if it's up there it might as well just open this as well there's no advantage gain Let's open the blue one and then have a think while we've got everything open. Okay. If I move these, it's gonna close the port, the gateways. Any of these that I move, it, it kills the whole thing. Oh, I haven't started the timer either. Good show. Sorry, because we haven't done anything. We haven't done anything, so. need one more connector. Maybe there's one that I haven't found. It's called Deception. Now... Yes, I have been deceived. But simply knowing that you're being deceived doesn't really answer how. So... Can I? Let's just put this one. Let's put this one up on the stairs. Oh, 
No, because now it can't reach that one, you see. Good evening, Daz. Uh, any twists? I think you just missed me being stuck. And there wasn't really much more in the way of proving that we're a human to the archive system. We didn't get much further with that. We did get some interesting feedback from the computer, though. It, interestingly, it, it told us um, that liberty and quality of life are diametrically opposed and that the fact that I've tried to say both should be sought after proves that I'm not a rational human. So that was interesting because that was basically what you said, isn't it? Um, I've got four, I've got four connectors. Connect four. Yeah, that's true. Humans. That's probably me using the word rational. But basically, it, because they were contradicting in in the in the words of the computer archive, they were contradicting concepts, and as a result. It wasn't very clever of me to pick both, and that proves that I must be an algorithm and not a person. What Slinky said last night is probably the thing to think about. That's the deception. Going the wrong way. Well, that's what I was trying to think about, but I can't. What that makes me think is that I should go... Where right now I'm going clockwise, like this... I should go anti-clockwise, but I can't figure out how to get the doors open without all of these. Yeah, I only need to unlock the blue, but the blue has got a red door. Wait there, let me connect these up. See if I come up here. Okay. Once I've connected them, I'll show you what I mean. So, why is that? Oh, fuck's sake. So, you're quite right that I only need the blue light to go from there to there. But the crucial thing is this gate is a red one. So it has to have red power to allow the blue light through. But for this gate to be open, the red power has to come through this gate. And you don't need that gate. So it's it's up there, isn't it? go this way I think I was probably gonna get to that eventually well, let's we've only got the hypothesis at this point so let's not get ahead of ourselves Can I get, can I see that from up, up here though? I don't think I can. No, I can't, so it needs to. So this needs to be here. It makes sense, to be fair, yeah, look, here we go. A lot of trouble over something that was actually quite simple. Kablamo! Da, 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 da. They tricked me. Deception. It was in the name and everything. And I just didn't listen. 
Decepted. <laughs> it's a Decepticon. Ha! Ho ho! Alright, sorry, one sec. Alright. So that was that one, and then I did, I did find time to get stuck. <laughs> ho ho! I did find time to get stuck on this one as well, right before we finished, because I was like, alright, well, we'll just try a different one. And I got stuck on this one. And everyone was like, <coughs> the other one was one of the hard ones, this one. This one's a piece of piss, you won't get stuck on this one. And then I got stuck on this one, and I was like, <laughs> oh, um, you're really good at this, <laughs> streamer. You're doing really well. <laughs> So, <clears throat> let's figure it out. I've got two connectors. You'll let me off. For what? Being shit. So now we've created a blue connection that lets us into this bit. We get this one. Close trying to <laughs> illuminati sprint into it. Um, okay, so this is a similar issue is that I need this open by a blue. Is this one up? This is a blue one as well. Okay, so let's. No, how do I open this one? Oh, from that side. So that's a red. Oh, that's nice. Daz sees the solution. Daz was just like reading the news on his phone. Looked up for a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone in chat's like, fucking hell, are you up? Um, so. I know that I need to get the blue through here. It's big consolation, Mike, but it's only a matter of time until you do, so... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're, we're all good, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's not going to be an unprecedented situation if I haven't got a fucking clue what's going on in the, in the game, is it? That's not going to be new territory for me to deal with. <laughs> yeah, I struggle with thinking. So I obviously need the blue to go through here, but then if I take it off, I lose the red, which opens that.
Okay, let's forget about the red for a minute. Yeah, it, I mean, it's not unpleasant experience, is it? Even when you're sat there, like, scratching your head. It's not terrible, because it's, like... A nice environment to be in. And then when you do ev eventually crack it... It's... it's euphoric. I think we're onto something here. No, I've misaimed it. No. Um. Yeah, well, I, I sorted what was wrong with it. For some reason, it wasn't counting. Um. Prime repeat subs. So I just had to tweak that, and that should be fine now. Okay. Right. So now we're powering the blue door via that, and this one is free. In theory. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Slinky just bounces in. Big bag of coins on the table. What? It's like a certain dominance. Yeah! Right, so... Touch wood. That's every sigil I've seen so far. I haven't got all the stars, but I've got all the sigils. Up to now. Keep an eye out for flyers, don't forget. Have you got anything to say? So what was this? This was six. So we're now on seven. It's just so exciting. Why is six still lit up? Four and two and are, are all dim. Six is lit up. Like seven. Does that mean there's something else in six I haven't done? Oh yeah, there's another one there. Whoops, I got excited. Getting ahead of myself. It's alright. We fixed it. So where's this? Oh, is this this here? This is the one. A door too far. Do this and then we might have more of the certificate assignment to get through. More philosophical conundrums to ponder. Look at all these graphics. I have to do it. Sure. We did check out the fire graphics. That has been checked out. So, quest completed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep your eye out for, for Hitler. Keep your eye out for Illuminati symbols. Someone made an argument. What was it they said? That the Tetris pieces were Illuminati symbols? Was that it? Or was it something else? So the, what they're saying is Tetris is a, is a conspiracy. Right, let's open this and just see where we go. What do we have to find here? There's a window. There's a 
Jammer. We haven't seen one of them for a little bit. Who remembers Jammers, eh? Back in the day, used to be jamming all the time. Now this is where it gets complicated because you can open them with the jammer or with the laser and sometimes you don't know which and some and you might think well if it's got a laser so socket it must be to be opened with a laser but I think some of them do that to deceive you maybe not quite yet but some of them there's a connector how do I get in there Let's just open this one with the jammer, see. Where it takes us. The fact that it's given me a cube, copyright TM cube, probably means I need to be elevated in some way. <laughs> I think Daz, you've absolutely cracked the, the puzzle there wow, you're good at this even I wasn't sure of those connections but you've just basically confirmed that all our worst fears, 100% Tetris, our Illuminati symbols confirmed <laughs> They sneak in all sorts of places, so you can't. You've got to be careful. Huh. Let's get this connector out of here. This is a tough one. Right, so jam that that way. Oh, it's a bit, bit of an awkward place to put it actually. Keep that open there. Get the red laser as far in here as I can. No, that's not that's not working. That's not good. Here. Why is it <sighs> Yeah, I don't need that. But that one now, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Lower window. No, but there's no point in that either. The block is going to mean it needs to be elevated, probably. See, I can't connect this laser to this door. There's no way. Why does it take so long? Right, so this is takes us out here, but we still are essentially where we started. We've got the block, which is fantastic, obviously, but I don't know what I want it for. Okay. Can it, can that work? I could connect that to there. Can't go this way. Let's see what happens. If 
that connected around this corner. It's all very exciting. Now see that's where that that's what that's in the way of. The little robot dude. His purpose in life is to get in the way of the and that's why it's a slow a slow opening because it's gotta have time for that to block yet. Now where did I leave the cube? Please tell me I brought it in the gate. There it is, okay. I can't get round there now though, so I should have left it how it was. Until I block off. It's good job he moves fast because you do have to do quite a bit of um, he, it. It's good job it moves fast. It, by, by it I mean me. Because you have to do a bit of backtracking. Now you. Stay there. He's going to get past, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. Sorry, give me a sec. It's okay, we're sound. Ignore that. Right. Yeah, so now that, that little mine dude is out the way, I should be able to connect this through the window. If I don't see you through the window, I'll see you through to weak. Get this jammer back. Thank you. Can I hit both of them? Oh, I don't think I can. Oh, can I? No, I can't. Where's the other connector? You, come here. When the truth will not reveal itself, perhaps it is best to seek it in another place. Oh, come on, Elohim. I've only fucking spent like five minutes on this one. That's a bit soon, isn't it? Don't you think he's rushing me a bit there? Heavy though, isn't it? Like, okay, so I can get if there's one. Right, got an idea. It's okay. As long as you've got an idea, something to try, then all's not lost. I'm 
not that confident in my idea, to be honest. I need another one of the. It's like two of these with this current setup. So, right. So you know what I was just saying about having an idea. As long as you got an idea and not, it's not lost, well, I'm all out of ideas. Can that other one keep that door open? Is there a w no, there's no window. These are all gates, so that can't go this way. came here to be good at puzzles and I'm really bad at puzzles what's happening slink welcome we solved the puzzle that we had was stuck on last night but now we're stuck on a whole new puzzle I reckon this dude needs to be over here, to be honest. You come here, you. Right. You st yeah, you stay there. So the only reason I need that open... Ah, it's... It's frustrating. I'm frustrated. I can't get round this way. It's a bloody gate. So I need to be able to go this way. <laughs> Mike literally said he'll get his bits in while you're not here. You've both got the silver badge there. No! <laughs> Power struggle. It's just not right. So clearly I need one here. And I need one here. So the one that's here has got to be able to connect to this one. But that's like two more than I've already got. Unless... better I can place do with this one. No, it's impossible. This entire puzzle is impossible. Get round that way, that's the frustrating bit. And I can't get through here now either. See? 
It's a shame we were flying so high yesterday, going through the green ones. Such a different time. I remember those days. Just as if every puzzle I come up was just battered away like it was not. And like, I stopped messing around. And now look at me. A shell of, a, of an android. Wandering through this endless garden of Eden. Not happy. Look at everything that God has provided. And I'm not happy. Just a husk. Born again shell, yeah, of an android. Basher. Basher shell. So I, I think I've got a, a little idea, just a little one. Don't get too excited. No, this is wrong, sorry. that to connect yeah okay so you just can't get that one and that one into the same frame they're repairing the natural gas line at your apartment so if I disappear there's equal chance you got bored, have a meeting, or the entire apartment blew up. I think the highest chance there is that you got a meeting. Although the chance of getting bored is also very high. But got a meeting is the high one. I think even if you had someone completely unqualified who was fitting your gas, I'd still say that the highest chance would be having a meeting. need to get the jammer through to the other side of there basically that's what okay I understand yeah he's just a very important guy and he's got a lot of meetings to have alright don't pressure him entire industries grind to a halt if Slinky's not available for his meeting Cyber security. That's what he wants you to think. It's actually Slinky's an agent of the CIA MFI 5 BI. And he's not even here as a viewer. He, he just gives bits to try and blend. He's here as an operative. MFI. <laughs> DFS. The DFS amnesty is nearly over. <laughs> God, I've solved it. I completed it. I 
knew we could do it. Tetris completed. Oh my god. <laughs> so the there was gonna, it was meant to be a short stream because of the quantum um, inference module get playing up a little bit, but it seems engineer just had the report for engineering. Everything's all systems go, it's all fine. Everything's fine. Blessed Elohim. Alright, so we're probably going to get more... We're going to speak to Milton now, I think. He's going to have more que deep questions for us. They always give you a nice easy way out, and I always avoid it. See? <laughs> see, all that you have to do is walk through there, and, I, and instinctively, I can see it. And I just go, nope. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Something wrong with me, you know. Alright, so that's... Oh, oh, oh. That's this one all done. Right, come on, what are you saying? Thief has broke me. I'm a broken person. Hello again. Would you like to take a few moments to complete a short user satisfaction survey regarding the certification program you recently undertook? Yes, I would. This is exactly what I've been after. I want to tell you how shit your survey is and how convoluted your ideas are. Based on analysis, convoluted, that's what I meant to say. Haha, <laughs> I'm clever. Based on analysis of your behaviour since I think you were dissatisfied with the results of the certification programme, how would you rate the accuracy of its results out of five? Out of five? Well, it's not giving me a mark out of five, is it? I'm going to say very poor. I'm sorry to hear that. What best describes the reason for your investment in the certification program's outcome? Why does being a person matter to you? Why does being a person matter to me? That in itself is a question that we could spend all night talking about. Like, what if you found out you was an android? Why would it matter if you could still got the exact same functionality? as you did before. Why does it being classed as a person matter if you can still completely as capable? I want network access. Oh, Slinky. Shooting in there with the practical realities. All right, Helmach. How are we? Welcome. We're just getting into shit. Shit's getting real. I want network access, it's the truth. I want to find out if I am one. Persons matter in ways other things don't. Wait, we're having a conversation now? Huh. I mean, that's true, I want network access, that's true. That's also true, that it is the truth. Persons matter in ways other things don't. I don't know of that. I'm not a robot. You see, that's the thing. The outer shell of me is a robot. But the inner consciousness is a person. You just don't understand me. I want to find out if I am one. No, because I already know I am. I feel like using that one. Yeah, Steph will have probably definitely just been like, get me off this screen. I don't even want to want to read it. No, I'm a dude playing a robot. No, I'm a dude. 
inside of a simulation playing a person who is inside of a robot shell inside of a simulation those are the layers I think that's five layers there's me quantum p1 inside of the computer simulation playing Talos principle as which is a simulation as a person inside of an Android I'm convinced it's a person I know it looks like an Android but I'm not having it Oh, I haven't seen. Well, I have seen Tropic Thunder, but I can't remember the quote. I want network access. I want to find out if I was the truth. Yeah, I'm just going to say I want network access. No, no, because then it's I spend too much time thinking about what the computer might be thinking. Like, if I say I want network access, it can't. the computer might take the view of it. So you admit you're not a person, but you just want access. Why does being a person matter to me? <laughs> okay. It's yeah, it's similar to that. It's just to replace in dude with robot. Okay, wait, we're having a conversation now. Yes, do keep up or this will be a terribly slow process. Now would you like to participate properly in the survey? Continue survey. What best describes the reason for your investment in the certification program? Okay, so I'm glad it just battered me away there because I didn't want that to take me down a whole different thing and lock out the other answers. So of these, I'm going to say it's the truth. No, but it doesn't matter if it's the truth or not. Or does it? I feel like if I say that one, I might offend it. Listen, I know what the truth is. And that doesn't mean that I know what the truth is, if you get what I'm saying. I don't have to know what the truth is to know what the truth is. Oh, yeah, it did say you can't offend it, didn't it? But I still don't want to choose that one. I'm just, I want network access. That's basically why we're here. I'll try to remember that. In fact, I'm going to help you. This is what I'm here for. Your problem, if I may, is that you don't know the first thing about anything, including what a person is. Your prospects are therefore poor. Do you even know where you are? There's nothing more annoying than being told by something ignorant or someone ignorant that you are ignorant. That's the most frustrating thing. This machine. This machine thinks it knows what a person is better than I do. Just go complete dummy. It could be anywhere. <laughs> no, because it's, well, I don't know, maybe. So where are we? A virtual reality theme park, the end of the world. I think that's probably true. That's possibly true. That's not true. Some mad experiment, probably. Could be anywhere. Yeah, I'm going to say could be anywhere because I don't know. <laughs> oh, did it work this time? Did it come up with the thing as well? Did the message come up in the, in the, to the right? Or not? God, is anyone watching? Thanks for the sub, though, Beck. Appreciate it. It did work, but it doesn't show it as a sub on the bottom. Okay, but... <laughs> Beck, can you do it again? Does it let you do it again? Sorry, I'm just tinkering for a second. I love that no one actually watches the gameplay. <laughs> Me. Did something happen on the screen then? Everyone else didn't see. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I can replay it through Streamlabs. Okay. Um, give me a second. Alright, so it's not showing up on the screen. Timer! Oh, it did show up. Okay. We're sound. Alright, we're it's all, it's all good. Thank God for that. We're all It's all fine. Everything's fine. Timer! It's all fine. Cheers for the sub, Beck. Oh, I've got to update the bottom. Well, you see, it is up to date because, unfortunately for Becca, she... Um, bank made subbed after Becca. Becca was just um, redoing the notification, as far as I can tell. I'll I'll try and read update it, see if it does. Oh wait, no, it's all good. There you go. Everyone's happy now. So, do you even know where you are? I'm gonna say. That I could be anywhere. Fucking hell. That's a lot of money. Thanks very much. <laughs> oh, you know what you could do with five quid? It's more than five quid. It's like, well, it's probably less than five quid actually, isn't it? Still, no, come on, guys. <laughs> you're kind of bankrupt each other, which is, you know, what in hindsight uh, is fine. Thanks very much for the 545 bits, Slink, and for the 609 bits, Mike. Oh my god, what's going on? Completely by accident. <laughs> Thanks for the bit, Helma. I love the way Becca spends all of her gift subs on another channel and then tries to say, oh, it was an accident. Bit suspect. I'm gonna say could be anywhere because that's the fair that's the logical beginning point. Is to just not know. Make no assumptions. Oh, you're appreciated on that channel. So you just go gifting everyone subs. That's fine. I understand. A wedding ring should be three months Twitch proceeds. Well, that'll be a, a, a shit wedding ring. Flight simmer. Oh, so that's what it is. If I if I played flight sim, then it'd be different, wouldn't it? Right. After after we finish Talos Principle, we're gonna do Flight Simulator 1996, and then after that, we're gonna do System Shock 2, and then we're just gonna open it up to the poll. I feel like there might have been another game that I've forgot there, but we'll just do flight sim instead of that. 1996 flight sim, yeah. It's the best one. Right, I'm gonna I'm put on could be anywhere. Because I don't know where I am. You're quite right. Honest too. I think we best start see he recognises now that he's dealing with an, a, a higher being than he thought. You're quite right, honest too. I think we best start from scratch. What do you know? I know none of this is real. False. I know you exist. Define exist. I know I exist. Again, define exist. 
I know what century it is. No, I don't. I know 2 plus 2 equals 4. Yeah, I do. I know I'm not on Earth. No, I don't. So I'm not going to go that one or that one. It's going to say 2 and 2 is 4. That's the only one of those that I'm pretty certain of. I suppose so. Even if you were dreaming, you could be certain of that. If I were you, I wouldn't believe a darn thing on this place, aside from that, that solitary fact. Thinking. On reflection, it seems to me that we are no longer close, no closer to resolving your problem. Perhaps we need more data. What makes you think you're a person? I think that's going to to uh, into the tangents there with the base ten. Um, I exist being certain. Well, it, it depends what they mean by exist. If they mean as like a physical entity, then I'm not sure I exist. But if they mean like as a consciousness, then yeah, of course, I, I can be certain of that. Tarabek. I don't think there is a correct answer in, term, in terms of these slinkies, so that's why I'm, I'm interested in everyone's opinions. Uh, so what's the question? What makes you think you're a person? I'm alive, I feel, I am conscious. I'm having this conversation with you. That, no, not necessarily. The same thing that makes you think you are. A conscious is physical. Everything is. True, but I'm talking about a human consciousness. Can you have a digital consciousness? I think I don't see how I can convince you. Yeah, the same thing that makes you think you are. I don't think it does think that it is. I think it doesn't think it's a it's a person. So that's not. I'm not going to pick that one. I think I don't. <laughs> I don't see how I can convince you is is the, is the answer. But I'm going to pick this one just to see what it says. You may very well say so, but how does that prove anything? To me, those are only words on a screen. What we need to uncover is what's going on underneath them, if anything. Thinking. The problem with people, if I may be so bold, is that you're all convinced you're people from the inside, but there's no cast iron way to confirm as much from the outside. I'm going to process this and send you a notification when I'm able to assist you further. Okay, so he's cancelled the session. Thanks for the dong bit, Slinky. <laughs> it's probably at that moment, Slinky sent the dong, and then the library assistant was like, Do you know what? Terminating this session. <laughs> It's got a quality standards. I wanted to pick the other one, but I think that's just going to skip ahead. I don't think there is a way for me to convince her. That is the answer. I can't convince her. But I'm a real boy. This is what I'm talking about, Daz, when you, we're, we're debating with a flawed intelligence. So we've got to convince an inferior life form that thinks it's superior of things that it thinks it knows, but doesn't. So we're on seven now. My nose is perfectly okay-ish. Close your eyes, it's like, we're, it's like we're playing Tomb Raider.
<laughs> it's a family channel. I think Milton was a too afraid because he was actually convinced. Oh, why have I gone back? Thanks for the 88 bits. Don't f don't start fighting everyone. We've got to listen to Alexandra or whatever her name when is. When I was in ninth grade, my parents took me to Pompeii. At first, I was amazed by the feeling of walking through an ancient city. But then I suddenly got scared. I realized that I was walking through a real place where real people had lived. People like myself, with mothers and fathers and lives and hopes and dreams. And now it was all gone forever. I ran to my father, crying, and told him about this. And he said, I remember so clearly, he said, Yes, but we are here. So long as there are people in the streets, the past isn't really gone. Whoa. So long as there are people in the streets, the past isn't really gone. Yep. Yeah. Well, I don't know. What's, what's going on? Let's see what this is saying. Oh, we've got more resources to read. Athena 9. She examined the symbol on the fragments she'd found in the buried city. Again, the owl. What could its significance be? It seems as if they had been scattered about in the labyrinth by some unseen hand for a purpose that, they, that yet eluded. Most likely, the owl was the sigil of the author of these words, which had so... A nebulous memory, as if from a previous life. The owl was the symbol of... And the goddess... Outside, under the moon, or perhaps on the city walls when the wind rose. But there was no time to contemplate this further now, for the automatons had seen her, and their mechanical arms extended towards... The fragments and ran as their beams converged on... So that's some sort of future sci-fi novel. I know, none of my sigils look remotely like owls. I must be doing it wrong. I've got the wrong ones. I need to play Tetris, the owl edition. Articles, the singularity is coming. Fact. You know, the more I think about it, the more I believe that no one is actually worried about AIs taking over the world or anything like that, no matter what they say. What they're really worried about is that someone might prove, once and for all, that consciousness can arise from matter. And I kind of understand why they find it so terrifying. If we can create a sentient being, where does that leave the soul? Without mystery, how can we see ourselves as anything other than machines? And if we are machines, what hope do we have that death is not the end? What really scares people is not the artificial intelligence in the computer, but the natural intelligence they see in the mirror. Wow. Although I don't agree. I'm good at not agreeing. That the fear of artificial intelligence is just deflecting. Because I think the fear of artificial intelligence is very real and very... What's the word? Justified. But still, fair point, if we did discover the ability to create consciousness, it does kind of reduce the unique significance of our own consciousness, I suppose, which could be scary. As one of the founders of the modern science of neomatics, many credit you with inventing the term itself. How do you see the state of the science today? Sorry, I said science twice. So it's um, Ask Me Anything by Nadia Sarapai. How do you see the state of the science today? Mixed. 
On the one hand, the existence of the Institute for Applied Neomatics and a couple of similar organisations is highly encouraging. On the other hand, the degree to which science is seen as serving purely military or corporate causes is, in my opinion, stopping us from exploring many important avenues of research. In a sense, it's people like Alexandra Drennan who are the real pioneers today, who have the enthusiasm and dedication that the system as a whole seems to be lacking. Well, they don't fund those areas, so that's why they fund the military. Do you think technology poses a danger to humanity? No, technology is just a tool. What we do with it is up to us. Idiot! Idiot! So, okay. So, does she also believe that guns are harmless? I mean, she's kind of right in what she says, but it's just totally... I forgot to do this timer. No, no, my hockey's aren't working. Why aren't my hockey's working? Fuck's sake. <sighs> Nothing's ever simple. Ever, ever, ever. I've lost my train of thought now. I know. Right out the moment. Sorry about that. What was I saying? Uh, yeah. Okay, so... She's right in, in the sense that technology in itself isn't dangerous. It's what we do with it that's dangerous. But that totally misrepresents the idea that us being dangerous is something that we can be stopped from doing like oh people don't have to use technology in a bad way they could use it for good things yeah they could but they're gonna use it for bad things so saying technology is not dangerous is like saying a gun is not dangerous it's the equivalent argument okay someone doesn't have to shoot the gun but if you give them a gun they're probably gonna shoot you well they're more likely to shoot you So, I don't like that statement. It's it's woolly thinking. The extended lifespan project, crazy or visionary? Both. See, she even admits it's crazy. Crazy or visionary? Both. Arcady, is that you? Do you anchor href equals... Yeah, it's not the tech that's dangerous, it's the user, but the user becomes more dangerous because of the tech. Like, a person with a nuclear bomb is more dangerous than a person without a nuclear bomb. The nuclear bomb itself is not the danger, but the person with it is, so it's kind of like, it's a technicality which leads to giving everyone a nuclear bomb because technically the nuclear bomb itself isn't dangerous and then you have like a million nuclear holocausts because of a technicality so far all the puzzles are solvable and completely within the necessary parameters Alexandra had some more tweaks she wanted to suggest but I think we're heading in the right direction here I've picked my position, mate. I know what I'm on about. It's Milton that needs convincing, not me. I'm trying to rearrange the definition of truth and trying to get that meaning into the real quantum world. Alright, let's puzzle solve. We'll go with green ones first because they're easier.
trapped inside. So we've got a window and a blue door. <laughs> what what were the three arguments or can you even be bothered because I don't I, I can't track what the other arguments were. Are there any flyers that I've missed? Okay, so there's so there's a blue door here and here. So Okay. I need to get this Okay, it's already open. Anything around here? No. Alright, let's move this a bit more this way. Whoops, I always forget what I'm doing. So I'll put this about here. Then this one. Oh, gate. I'm playing a game. What do you mean? I'm playing a game. What are you? What are you saying? This is. Are you saying this is not real? That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. Twitch stream is just the simulation. This is like I can feel the sand in between my fingertips. I can feel the laser shooting through, shooting through me stomach. Like it's. If the quantum computer is moving you all around and you know the time travel is impossible, then maybe you're not real. Of course I'm real. It's used out of the simulation. Use are just an algorithm that's responding to like words that I say. I am the life bringer and winter mute song of the sun and death of the moon. Is that a real quote? Perfect time for the stream to freeze. Stop complaining. It didn't freeze for me because I'm real. Yeah, use it. You. I mean, consider this the subject matter that you talk about often aligns quite nicely with the things that Nightbot says. Suspicious. Chat and Nightbot are in harmony generally. Okay, so I can't get this and this connected there. But what if I go like this? 